Okay, okay, World Series 2021 in Riga, Latvia. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Okay, okay, super fight. Blue corner, fighter representing Ukraine, Vladimir Hinju. Trains in Poland at Goruda Muay Thai. 26 years old, uh, has fought on two previous occasions here in King of Kings. One of them was a victory. That was a fight under kickboxing rules. One of them was a loss. That was a fight under MMA rules. Honestly, I don't think he really cares what the rule set is. This is just one of those guys that likes to fight. And honestly, he can do both very, very well. He's a super skilled fighter. And uh, I'll tell you what, he knows how to generate power. He can drop some bombs in there. If one of those big shots lands against Kvasi, it could be lights out. Well, he almost turned his own lights out. Ukraine! Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Holland, Chico Kwasi. Well, that was an epic fail. <laughs> it has to be said. But that hat is a win. Look at that. Chico Kwasi. Making a fashion statement here today. He's, he's looking to make a statement in the ring, but <laughs> making a fashion statement as well. I'll tell you what, this kid is super talented. So fun to watch. And only 23 years old. A lot of times I forget that when I'm watching Chico because he's so talented. He, he doesn't fight like a 23-year-old fighter. He fights like somebody who's much more experienced. He comes from a fighting family. And uh, his brother, Fabio, another very, very talented fighter. He's a, a heavyweight. He's been in the ring with a lot of the best fighters around the world. He's also got Big Mike in his corner. Uh, he's 4-1 and one overall here in King of Kings and 36-5 and five in his career. So he certainly has not made a habit of losing and does not plan to do it here tonight. Chico Kwasi, Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 26 years old, official height 180 centimeter, official weight 81 kilogram, his professional record, seven wins, six losses, representing Garuda Muay Thai Gym, Ukraine, Vladimir Hinjo. Fighting out of the red corner, 23 years old, official height 190 centimeter, official weight 81 kilogram, his professional record 36 wins, 5 pluses, East National Champion, SFC World Champion, representing Mike's Gym, Holland, Chico Kvatsi. Ring referee Rafael Espashayeva, KOK rules, 3 rounds, 3 minutes each. Round one. No touch of gloves there at the beginning. Look, in my opinion, this fight could easily be the main event. That's just how good these guys are. There's the power I'm talking about. Look at those crisp shots. One downstairs, one upstairs. Kvasi, though, in addition to his natural talent, he has got a big reach advantage. Got stuck with another jab there. Look at that clubbing shot, sailed over the head. May have hit him in the top of the dome. Oh, 
Oh, man, powerful body shot that time from the Ukrainian looking for the liver. Cracking kicks, doubled up on it. David Kwasi. Looking for another one, too, but didn't have the distance down. The Ukrainian is not afraid to get inside. And if he's got to take a shot on the way in or try to avoid one, then so be it. He's a brawler and a roughhouser. Fossi's more of a classically Dutch-style Dutch kickboxer. And they don't mind mixing it up either, believe me. Both guys look to be in tremendous shape for this one. Two different body types, though. You notice that uh, Inzu is more of just... He's real thick. Look at how thick he is around the shoulders and the abdomen. Vasi more of a taller, thinner, lankier kind of a fighter. Vasi cutting down the ring now. Just throws a good knee inside. Oh, my! That shot had bad intentions behind it, and it just fired up Hinzu now. Whoa, what, how on earth was that even possible? That is the most unusual low blow I've ever seen in my life. I, you know, I've done commentary for literally thousands of fights. And I, just when I think I've seen it all, then I see this. Fight! I'd like to see a replay on that. Just, <laughs> just the, Time! I'm sure it's no laughing matter uh, for Chico Kvase as he caught one right in the low-hanging fruit, if you know what I mean. But that was weird. Boy, am I glad that Mike Passanier is in the red corner this time and not in my corner. He's soaking everybody in the front row here. Another fascinating fight here, and uh, round one was fireworks, I'll tell you what. Both these guys dropping some bombs in there, landing some power shots, and going at it 100%, and that's what I like to see. I don't, I don't, a lot of people are, are kickboxing purists, you know, and they like to see these strategic, you know, fights where uh, both guys Look at that shot, man. That kick caught him right Fighter. on the side of the face, right in the chin, right on that cheekbone. Oh, there it was. Did you see that? <laughs> how, did he, how did he do that? His back completely turned and then threw like a an upward. That was so weird. All right. Round number two. Inzu still as aggressive as ever. But as, as I was saying, I, I'd like to, I like to see people just go at it. I like to see them just throw all of the, you know, any kind of hesitation or anything that they have out the window and just tear into their opponents. Those are the kind of fights I like to see, and that's the kind of fight that Hinzu likes to do. And Kvasi's just going to have to deal with it. See? Before the referee could even get over there, he knocks him down again. And then he continued to pummel him after he hit the canvas. That's a lot of punishment. I wouldn't be surprised if the referee takes away a point here. I think he understands now <laughs> what, what the problem is. And uh, well, Kvasi doesn't care. He just wants to get back in there and keep fighting. Yeah, 
like I said, Hinzu does both stand up and MMA, so it's, it's probably just like a natural reaction for him. To look, as soon as somebody goes down, you go after him and you try to finish the fight. You can't do that under kickboxing rules. They'll take a point away. You can even be disqualified for something like that. But those are those natural MMA instincts coming into play. I would also say this too, even though uh, Fase has been knocked down here, which is a massive, massive plus in favor of uh, Hinzu. Don't count him out just yet. You saw that head kick just narrowly miss. He's still got a couple tricks up his sleeve, believe me, folks. It's just that power I was talking about of Hinzu. That's his greatest asset in his in his best weapon. He's he's it caught up with Kvase like I like I thought that it had the potential to do. Uh, but Kvase, it looks like he oh boy he's cut. He's cut right between his eyes. It looks like. It looks like it's in the eyebrow, right in the center of his forehead. And uh, but he's still in this thing, regardless. Time. Round two. That's a 10-8 round for him. Fight! Final round. I think the, the winner of this round is going to win the fight. It, it could be an even uh, contest right now because if if if, if Fase won the first round, you can get, give it 10-9, but then you give it 8-10 for his opponent. And so it, it should be even right now if my scoring is correct going into round three. Whoa, Kvase comes rushing in and ended up in the corner. Oh boy, these two are really going at it now. And keep in mind, folks, Kvase is a former welterweight World Grand Prix winner. And so a win here for Hinzu would certainly skyrocket him into the rankings. He's not even actually ranked just yet here in, in KOK. And uh, Kvase is the number one welterweight fighter. Now, this fight actually had 81 kilos, uh, but he's the number one ranked welterweight in KOK. And, and the fact is that constant Constantine Rusu, who is a still like a paper champion here in KOK and has not fought here in years, not since like, I don't know, 2018 or 19. And so he's, he's not even an option. He's still listed as the champion, but uh, I have a feeling he's not going to fight here ever again. And so Kvase is pretty much the top dog here in the welterweight division. So a, a win for Hinzu would do miracles for, for his career in KOK. Whoa! Came charging in with a knee that time. Whoa! And a, a surprise spinning back fist as the blood continues to trickle right down the face, right right down the bridge of the nose and onto the cheek of Chico Kvase. No pun intended. Oh, what a powerful 
beautiful kick that was. Just knocked the taste out of his mouth and into the third row. Oh, my. Voss is starting to come alive here now in round three. Cracking low kick there. Every shot he delivers has tremendous impact. It does seem like Hinzu is starting to fade here a little bit and that Kvase is starting to take over. Whoa! Oh, my! raising his hand, marching around the ring here, and Himzu bent over in his corner. Well, that I always look for that. How do? What is the fighter's immediate reaction after the fight? It can really tell you a lot about uh, either A, who won, or B, who perceives that they won. <laughs> and uh, I think that Kvasa thinks that he took this thing. I think that he took round three, honestly. I think that going into round three was probably even. And so, therefore, Kvase, on my scorecard, is the winner. Uh, even though Hinzu knocked him down in round two. It's still possible. Uh, it's not fair, but, but it's possible according to the scorecard. But I'm not scoring the fight here, so I don't know. Uh, and we're going to find out. Honestly, I, I think that an extra round here is due. About even in, in, in my book, I think that the you, it shouldn't be this way that you knock somebody down and lose, but it does happen. Let's find out. Vitas Kuzmenka is in the ring and has the official decision for us. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Series in Riga 2021. We are live. KOK Super Fight. I will announce the decision of each judges. Judge one. Vladimir Hindu, Judge 2, Chico Kwasi. Judge 3, draw extra round. Oh, it is an extra round. And that's the right decision, I, I think. Good. That's what I wanted to see because, in, in my opinion, if I were going to score it, I would have actually scored it in favor of, of Kvase, even though it was uh, because I think he won that third round. But uh, it deserves this decision. We deserve to see uh, a, a clean winner, and an extra round is the only fair way uh, to settle it, the way I see it. See Oscar and Big Mike over there doing a number on Fighters. Chico trying to get him ready here for this extra round. Extra round. Well, folks, this one has been brutal so far. But remember, as far as the cards are concerned, whatever happened in the first three rounds has no impact on the scoring of the fight at this point anymore. It's only the extra round that matters. Hinzu looks like he's a little bit more careful right now. I don't know if that's because of how, how tired he is or if he just you know, doesn't want to make any mistakes here. But I think he needs to go back to what was working for him, and that's the power and the aggression. Well, both guys playing it, playing their cards pretty close to the vest here, and the war that we saw in the first three rounds is somehow not materializing anymore. Oh, a knee by Kvasi may have clipped him. Oh, and the kick caught him. And a good low kick as well. I think that uh, Inzu doesn't have much left here. And if he does, he's not showing it here. That The old Hinzu is gone. 
where did he go? Still a minute 20 left, a long time to go here, and boy, the action is really slowing down here a lot. Nice low kick. Corner. Excuse me, the blue corner calling for action here from their fighter is just not responding. That's going to win this round for Kwasi, if, if anything, because there's not a whole lot happening in the ring here, at least not by the standards from uh, the first three rounds. Kwasi is the more active fighter here in this point, is scoring points. Neither guy seems like they can really pull the trigger here. There was such a war earlier on. I think they've both kind of come down from a high of those uh, first three rounds. They didn't expect this extra round. <laughs> Oh, he's just trying to set him up for the big right hand, but oh, and Inzu crashes down to the canvas now for the second time here in this extra round. And that's it. Well, very unusual uh, extra round. I just don't think there was much left uh, in Voldemir Hinzu. And Kvasi, I think he's going to win this thing. Not a whole lot offensively coming from Hinzu and you, defense will only get you so far but a very inactive round for Voldemir Hinzu and that's going to cost him the fight